The following riddle was given to both students from a Chinese university and students from an American university. Remarkably, the Chinese students were about nine times more likely to solve the riddle, with only 8% of US students figuring it out. So, can you solve it? It's called the statue problem. Once upon a time, there lived a tribal chief whose job was to collect taxes from a neighboring river village. Every year, he would travel there by boat, and importantly, he would bring the tribe's sacred stone statue. This statue served as a reference. The villagers were commanded to pay the statue's weight in gold. Now, normally, the chief also brings his trusty balance scale, so he could put the statue on one end, and the villagers could dump the gold on the other, until both sides evened out. Unfortunately, he forgot the scales this time, and couldn't waste time by going back to get them. How can he figure out how much gold it takes to match the statue's weight? Note, he does not have access to other balance scales, a pulley system, or any other conventional scales. Pause now to think about it. Okay, here's the correct answer. Firstly, put the statue on the chief's boat, and mark how much the boat sinks in the water. Then, take the statue out, and start filling the boat again with gold until it reaches that mark. At that point, you would have the correct amount to take back home in taxes. Now, the answer to this problem is nice and simple. But why were Chinese students so much better at solving it than American students? Well, the reason is, this riddle is very closely related to an old Chinese folktale. In that story, a Chinese emperor asks a coastal village to find the weight of an elephant without killing the elephant. The villagers only had a bunch of rocks they know weighs a standard unit. So, their solution was to put the elephant in a boat, mark the water level, and then repeat with the rocks. Those who remembered this old tale were more likely to solve the initial riddle. Interestingly though, the researchers then hit these students with yet another riddle. But in this one, the Americans excelled while the Chinese failed. If you did poorly on the first riddle, perhaps you'll be more likely to solve this one. It goes like this. A treasure hunter is exploring a cave up on a hill near a beach. He worried there was going to be many paths inside the cave and that he was going to get lost. He didn't have a map of the cave. All he had was a flashlight and a bag. What could he do to make sure he didn't get lost trying to get back out of the cave later? Pause now to think of the answer. The correct answer here is to carry the sand from the beach and then drop it along the path he walks. This way, as he's backtracking out of the cave, he can simply follow the trail of sand. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Hansel and Gretel story, the solution is very similar. In that story, the kids use pebbles to track their way out of the woods. So, the main reason why one group did better than the other was their exposure to similar problems in the past. It makes you wonder what other current problems can be solved with past solutions. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if you're hungry for more raps and bump beats here on this track, then the Huntsman's where it's at. If you're wondering who the Huntsman is, he's the rapper and producer that has produced all the background instrumentals for my channel. If you check out his latest video here, you can see how much better he raps than me. Honestly, it's great. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on my next video.